actually, this mausoleum was three miles out. I'm going to slowly go back to the mausoleum. <laughs> <laughs> I've got plenty of time to get this embryo out of my head. I won't bother with a doctor or anything. I'll just solve some puzzles. Is he aware of the embryo po problem, or is he just touring? Time. It's never really made clear, honestly. Shut to preserve freshness. Freshness? <laughs> it's not a can of tomatoes, dude. These pillars hold up the mausoleum. <laughs> I'm not going to acknowledge it. Wow! <laughs> I know how things work. I'm familiar with basic architecture. These stairs allow me to climb up things. Well, I guess I learned enough for today. <laughs> Bye. He's from the south now, is that the end? Yeah, I would presume so, based uh, on his intelligence okay, up okay. to this point, yeah. The sequel actually takes place in Texas. The sequel. There's a sequel, yeah. This game is deserving of a sequel. It's been <laughs> gripping up to this point. Let's make another one. The sequel is amazingly somehow much worse, by the way. Oh, really? Yes, there's tons more dialogue. <laughs> yeah. The barber is a playable character. <laughs> That's the yeah, part two. Now, there's a package on our front door, which you can it's hard to see with the high resolution pixel part, but Yeah, and this is seven twenty P, I can barely see it. <laughs> I'll be fair, this actually had a like high res graphics for its time, but ah, it does not age well. The... It's a calm neighborhood though otherwise. <laughs> 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 my house seems out of place somehow. <laughs> Maybe it's the morphing baby on my front step in a tiny casket. Hey, did you not get it the first time? Here it is again. We uh, sent this to you via snail mail. Hope you oh, enjoy H it. HR Geeger. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, that was kind of odd, but... That baby doll is never again referenced in the game. It's oh. not in our inventory. It's just nowhere. It's just there. <laughs> Let's have seen countless guests come and go. Look at the wallpapers peeling, and the lights are flickering. The steps creak, but maybe that's because I walked them up them very slowly. <laughs> the real estate agent's like, you really want this place? Are you sure? I can show you anything like, else. Like, I want my commission, but at the same time, I'm kind of worried about you. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> well, maybe because he walked around his office like, this swivel chair is wonderful, and I bet I can sit in it. The guy's like, fine, whatever, take it. <laughs> is this my bedroom or the other identical bedroom? Oh, I forget. The phone's ringing. <laughs> the, the, phone, the phone works a lot. I don't know what to say to that. He doesn't talk to anyone, just click. He said hello, I'll give him that. <laughs> he got it half right. You know what I love too? The, look at the description, the wooden planks creak a lot, but they don't. It's the stairs. Like, they couldn't even get that right. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Cyber Dreams. You're supposed to be developing new ways to amaze me. I guess I'll check out my <laughs> library book now. <laughs> Three hours later. And listen to the library check out the book theme. Now, you want me to tell you something that is absolutely true? Please. Mike Dawson, and I swear, now teaches game design at UCLA. Really? Not making that up. He really does. Well, let's go. <laughs> That's it, obviously. I think I could learn a thing or two. Let's see what Professor Dawson thinks about walking very slowly. <laughs> Professor, your course seems strangely empty and unoccupied. <laughs> I wanted to buy a g make a game kind of around the horrors of buying a new home when you've never seen it and have no judgment whatsoever. <laughs> this is a social commentary game. <laughs> you know, by the third or fourth time you'd seen it, wouldn't it be like, now it's, you know, naturally quiet. Now it seems characteristically quiet, like usual. Hey, Barber's still working on the same guy? Well, bye. Yep. <laughs> It guards its bounty behind a handsomely decorated structure. <laughs> it took me all night to write that four-line description. Oh, come on, Iron Claw. Grow up. Man, oh, just... come on. Just click it. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Huh? Here's the book that was put on hold for you. <laughs> they also did... What, what the... That's the whole book. Uh, wait. It's morphing. Oh, my God. Tune into the right station to hear from a concerned friend. 
<laughs> Here it is again, in case you missed it. <laughs> so this is a children's <laughs> book, right? <laughs> they keep doing that in the game. Like they have like all these the, like pop scare kind of things. We want <laughs> you to sh we want to show you all two pages that we programmed into this book. <laughs> <laughs> hey, librarian, this room reminds me of my study full of leather-bound books. <laughs> well, bye. <laughs> Hi, Mike, we have a book out of you the library. Click. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Barbara, I chucked out a book today. <laughs> bye. It's only six bucks. I know that for no reason, because I've never been in this town before. Hey, Clug, I'm still not hungry. <laughs> well, time to go home, drink my whiskey, and pass out. Time to go on my two-hour hike home. <laughs> if only I had a car from the previous owner. <laughs> At least the battery still works in that car. <laughs> you can try driving it. So nah. <laughs> Whatever. If only I had a rope I could climb to my house. It's air. such a good day outside for the past four days and nights in a row. <laughs> Alright, let's very slowly... I'm going home <laughs> now. <laughs> um, I don't think anything in the game actually tells you you only have three days to get the embryo out of your head. <laughs> you know, whenever I look for a house, I always ask my real estate agent to look for something that re would remind me of a dark future. <laughs> That's a chilly draft flowing through this decrepit old living room. <laughs> Why did you buy it? <laughs> Oh, by the way, holding clock key. <laughs> Let's just walk all the way over there. Man, it's awkward living alone in this place. Glad we did this. It's empty. Adventure game puzzle solved. Alright. Well, Let me solve I'm... the puzzle in my house real quick. There's something taped There's to the mirror. There's paper taped to the mirror. Oh. Uh, uh-oh. It looks like the movers, uh, cracked, or they claimed that it was already cracked. Uh-oh. Hmm. <laughs> that was the only flaw with the house, otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, five-star real estate. <laughs> Perfect residence. <laughs> I'm so I would, glad. <laughs> I would like this to be my dark future, for sure. <laughs> I'm so glad we unlocked that clock. <laughs> really useful thing to have done today. I've had a busy day climbing down the side of my house, and opening a trunk, and going back and forth <laughs> in the library. <laughs> I feel like he's had a stroke or something. Why does he even turn backwards to, like, go... Oh, yeah, I want to go to this room. Okay. <laughs> Which bedroom do you think he sleeps in? What? what? <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> <He's> just... <laughs> Let me go to sleep for about three or four days. <laughs> he just curls up in the same clothes. Oh, a what? visitor. Oh, the mirror. The what? <laughs> <laughs> now he's Mr. Wacky. <laughs> now he looks horrible. I don't know which way I'd prefer to look if I were him. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the shadow supposed to be? I think he's looking into his own mirror downstairs. While he's asleep? Mm-hmm. See, he's having a dream symbolized. These nightmares have given me a mean headache. Why would it, how would a nightmare give you a headache? When does that ever happen, ever? <laughs> By the way, you need to keep the doors to the secret room open. Like, Mike automatically closes them. But in order to solve a puzzle, you need to keep them open. Let me shower and only wash my hair while being fully clothed. Good. <laughs> this is the exact same outfit. <laughs> Shoes and everything. Man, I bought a house, but I really should have bought clothes instead. <laughs> Shame I'm in such horrible debt now and can't buy clothes. <laughs> this decrepit old shirt reminds me of a dark past, or maybe a future. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> There's fucking wallpaper in here. I think you're starting to feel what we call buyer's remorse. <laughs> Really, the embryo's been the best part of this whole experience. The wooden planks creak a lot, I got this whole dark future vibe from my house. I'm kind of questioning my decisions. <laughs> this needs two throw rugs, exactly. There. <laughs> That's good. Uh-oh, the doorbell. <laughs> what? Bert found this broken shard from your mirror, the movers. We'll just leave our front door open and go fix our mirror, then. Okay. This is top priority now. <laughs> Much more than closing the door. Or, or the embryo thing. Well, whatever uh -oh. that is. 
I'm afraid our mirror is a dark, uh, dark portal to a dark world. Well, that's what happens when you don't do your home research. <laughs> he just calmly <laughs> enters it. <laughs> oh, what's in here? Maybe another library? An unnatural glow emanates from the chamber. Strange machines provide energy, nourishing the She creatures. sounds really bored. It's a really exciting situation. You'll just have to take my word for it. Look how evil the stairway is now. It's made of skulls. <laughs> Look, I know I'm in a very strange place, but I'm going to maintain my casual strut. <laughs> Many evil plans have been masterminded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just assuming, based on a cursory look at this place. Look, it says Dawson on the bottom. Oh no, a twist! <laughs> oh, they're holographic. See, if you don't keep the secret doors open in the light world, you can't enter here in the dark world. Ah uh, right yes, there. a holographic projection. Guess I'll go in here then. <laughs> Teeth on edge. <laughs> that woman was hired to describe the one room? <laughs> you know, I'd be freaking out a lot more than this fellow. I feel like a Man, my teeth are on <laughs> edge. You just... <laughs> what doesn't set your teeth on edge? The floor cricks probably do that as well. The barbershop maybe sets your teeth on edge for no reason. Oh, by the way, here's some human binoculars. Oh, okay. In the alien world. And fortunately, we have a, a magnet, I think. No, the binoculars, I'm sorry. We're going to look out at the landscape. Okay. Into the far plane. That's the landscape. Anyway. Okay. Now, um, we needed the gloves from our car, the glove compartment, because this lever is electrified and would kill us otherwise. Of course. Of course. But the, uh, the lever opens the front door, basically. God, it's my teeth on edge. If you look at it first, I think it says it's electrified, but it's kind of a cheap death sort of thing, you know? In the original game, that was like the first thing that killed me and pissed me off. But what? What happened? We just teleported. That's instead of the ladder you climb from the secret room to the other, here in the dark world, it's a teleporter. Oh. And he's perfectly fine with that. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty cool. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this alien homeowner, too, has a really empty house. You know, it's just like picking up a book from the library. <laughs> Let's just go outside. Whatever. This is the outside of the alien edifice. <laughs> it reminds me somewhat of the front of my own house. <laughs> if this reminds you of the front of your house, then you probably shouldn't have purchased it. Do you know what? Just move. Don't even bother selling it. Petrified images of this alien forest remind me of something I had nightmares about as a child. I wonder why my real estate agent didn't show me this place. <laughs> You couldn't take me through the dark mirror portal? <laughs> well, no, the mirror was broken, apparently. Oh, right. not to go in there. <laughs> However, nothing ventured. <laughs> it's well, like going to get my hair cut. <laughs> go to a hospital. Like a hospital waiting room here. <laughs> what? Perhaps it would be safer to return home. There's also a shovel in here. There's like random items for no reason. Human items for no reason. Finally, the shovel I've been looking for. <laughs> I had to go a little out of my way to find it, but it was worth it. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, by the way, Delbert's card says, uh, get out of jail free. Remember that lawyer we had? Yeah, and Monopoly. So, yeah, no, it's a, get out of, it's a get out of jail free card. It works literally in this game. You can go to jail in this game? Let's just set, yeah, I'm just setting that up for later, basically. I mean, you did pass a police station, so it's realistic, I suppose. Mm-hmm. There we go. Now now that we've got a shovel, we've done everything we can do in the Dark World. I think I'm ready to go home with my new purchase. What sucks is there's a pretty strict time limit in this game, and this is kind of how you have to play it. Oh, really? Like, you sort of have to speedrun it, yeah. Because if, you, if, you, uh, if it turns nighttime in the Dark World, uh, you'll just go to sleep wherever you are, <laughs> and you'll be killed in the night. I am just beat. <laughs> Might as well sleep in this alien world. <laughs> well... By the way, it's a calm neighborhood out here. <laughs> After venturing through this alien world I've never been before via a portal in my mirror. <laughs> when he enters the portal, he's like, that's why my house has been creeping me out. Ah. Uh -huh. huh. What do you know? Well, nothing ventured. <laughs> well, that should do something for the resale value. <laughs> Time to check out the cemetery, I guess. <laughs> Again. It's a fun place. <laughs> This path, uh, only, they only buried like six people on, huh? really. Rest in peace, rest in peace, peace rest in pe peace, whatever, whatever. Rest in peace, rest in peace. Rest old in man's... peace. Oh, museum. Crazy, uh, crazy uh, old man Tuttle eating those keys. <laughs> so this is the uh, old owner's grave we're going to, I think. Jay McKeegan. <laughs> of course. 
So we're going to dig up his grave. <laughs>